So there's been no RJL pranks for a while. That's nice. But what if I suddenly get struck with them again? Like, say, in a few seconds. Or tomorrow. Or one week from now. Or even five years from now. No, just no. I just don't trust Mr. Earl F you, especially after I repealed that rule. I knew it. I knew it. Mr. Earl F you must be calling me about an RJL prank he left on my computer again. Except this time I didn't even notice. Seriously, how is he getting bitter at defeating me? Time to get back at him once again. Now listen up here. Ah, uh, Mr. Horsey? Oh great, did you put an RJL prank on my computer instead? What? No. But actually, speaking of an RJL prank... I actually got one. What? Really? Continue. Well, I was coming back from my lunch break when I suddenly saw a print window on my computer. Thinking that I might have just planned to print something but didn't get the chance to do so since lunchtime arrived, I just pressed the button. However, a few seconds after closing the printing window, another window popped up. Except this time I was told that I was pranked by an RJL prank called Print Me. So yeah, not sure what to do. Just stay put. I'll handle that fool. Hmm. Should I go after Mr. Earl F. U. anyway, even though I wasn't actually pranked by him this time? On the one hand, it's nice to finally have someone in this building that isn't me getting a taste of the RJL medicine. Plus, my work time isn't being wasted by his idiotic pranks. Then again, my work time is being wasted by Blobbins who've gotten pranked now. And while it isn't as bad as me getting the pranks... Oh shoot, them getting the pranks instead means that they're consequently doing a bit less work for me. Okay no, that can't happen either. It's time to take action. That's real smart man. Yeah, like I'm aware that blob and slaughter is off the table ever since Mr. Langan fell through it and became permanently paralyzed from that fall and talking car. But I just want to play it safe for now. Therefore, I thought, why not give Mr. Horsey a break from RJL pranks for now and let other blobbins feel the experience of those pranks? I am nothing more than a video simulation of Mr. Kirby. What the... Did I not tell him about the animated Mr. Horsey virtual background I put up a month ago? What virtual background? Oh. Well, hold on, by the way, you matched up with that background quite nicely. Your application is about to die. So, is that it? I mean, my expectations for you were never high in the first place, but holy moly. Wait, what? No, of course that wasn't it. First of all, how did that program bypass horse pie? With the help of... Redacted. Anyway, don't think that ranking my other employees will protect you from my revenge plans because they sure won't. And now, due to the fact that you clearly don't care about stopping your revolting jokey losses of some pranks anytime soon, it's officially CH Hammer time, which means no more computer, no more job, no more apartment, no more life. Oh no, I am so scared. Seriously man, do better. Besides, didn't the next shipment of spare computers arrive today? <sighs> Looks like you'll have to stay at this job a little longer than I anticipated. Don't think you'll be so fortunate the next time, though. About time the graphs are done. Wait, why is this button on my desktop? For those of you who are fortunate enough to be on your desktop at this time, and no, Topster, that's not what I meant. Oh. You may have noticed a new program on it. Just to let you know, Mr. Left, you just pulled a dumb RJL prank on another employee, so don't think that you're immune to them anymore. So from now on, if you see a prank specifically made by RJL on your computer, press the button and let me know. I'll deal with that coon from there. Now keep working. So, are you going to continue pranking other blobbins? Um. Yeah.